Hello, so I'm Raj Ibrahim Abulushi uh, with the R Studio. Today I'm going to show you the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 10.1. So, uh, so what's special about this? So today I'm going to show you the Sony Xperia Z launcher on this tablet. Yes, uh, so the NXT developer ported this to any RCS and Jelly Bean device, which is an amazing task. Meaning that if you have a Jelly Bean or uh, ICS device and you are rooted and have a custom recovery because uh, you don't need to be rooted but you need to be attuned to have a custom recovery like um, TWRP or like the Sandra mode custom recovery now CMW custom recovery anyways so uh, today I'm going to show you the uh, tab uh, the launcher on this tab and how it smooth is and then its features so if you can see here how smooth it is it's very very smooth now what I like about this is okay so for example as you can flash so there's an option to flash the launcher only or the widgets also and the wallpapers but if you're using a tablet I don't recommend flashing the widgets because they would be very very small unseen because the Xperia Z is still a phone, meaning that the widgets will be so small. Anyways, so I like the Xperia Z wallpapers, and this is my favorite wallpaper of all time. Yes, it's amazing. Anyway, so I'm running this launcher on the ROM CM10, uh, but you can run this on any any Jelly Bean or ICS ROM. So just go to apps, I'll show you the interface of the app drawer. And you can see how, uh, here how the app drawer is very much like the Sony Xperia drawer. So for example, I have a Sony Xperia right here. It's running a ROM, but it has the Sony Xperia um, app drawer. So if I just can show you right here, I have the Sony Xperia Pro. If I just enter the app drawer, you can see how much alike they are. You can see how, okay, so just close this. You can see how the the app drawer is much like this one. The even the icons are very very similar. Okay. So let's go back to the the Galaxy Tab Two. Now, the other thing you notice is this amazing amazing. Uh, when I say amazing, it's really amazing. Uh, uh, I just am um, amazed by the smoothness of this. I even uh, I even you know use this or the touchless uh, launcher the default launcher because this is an amazing launcher so if I just zoom in to the okay just right here to the icons you can see how the top looks like and you have the sorting of the apps here so basically you can sort apps to own order alphabetical most used and recently installed so I just can zoom out right now anyways and also you can see something here about that uh, you have these shortcuts up here. If you can see, I just zoom in. Wait a minute, and you can see these shortcuts up here. So, for example, I can just hold this, and okay, and there appear to be a full icon. And example, I can just put another app here. You can only put about how many apps? Okay, let's see. So you can put many apps here. So, for example, I'm putting the, okay, you can also make folders, which is a great uh, idea. Okay, so you make folders in this shortcut area. So if I just zoom out to show you basically where am I, and I'm zooming in. So you can see that I can make folders right here. So uh, the folder interface is uh, very much simple and it's Sony. Okay, I like them. I like their launcher. And another use or uh, another uh, feature which I like because it's user friendly. Basically, if someone did not ever use an Android and he wants to install an app, with TouchWiz it's a problem. You just have to click over there, here, and you go to settings and you go to install an app or something. But with this Sony Xperia Z launcher, it's one click away. So, for example, if I just click this, and you have this, uh, you have this, uh, okay, close button or install button. Just press it, and you want to install this app. 
I just install, okay, and then everything would be simple. I just go home and everything would be normal. So that's what I like about uh, the Sony. They're so creative and they are making everything simple. Anyways, another feature I'm going to show you is uh, this one, the search feature. Now, this is integrated into the launcher. For example, if I press, uh, okay, I'm going to type something, you know, okay, so if I'm going to type, for example, let's just see an app here, okay, at the end of the app drawer, okay, so I'll, I'll so, okay, Engadget. So if I press Engadget, come on, oh, I'm not writing well, okay, Engadget. Okay, now, you have this feature, if you click on the app itself, it will launch, but also you have another feature in which you can, okay, just exit out. Another feature is if you press on this button, okay, let's zoom in, show this button. Okay, if you press on this button, specific button, okay. So then it will show you the app's position in the app drawer and it will make a wriggle, uh, a wriggle movement, which is fun. Anyway, so if you can scroll through here, I'm just going to show you how smooth it is. And so if I go widgets, I'm going to show you a quick uh, demonstration of how you can add apps and, and how it is very easy and very, 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 very useful. And I've, I've, uh, I like this one because in most, I like this launcher because in most launchers, uh, basically, if you add, if you press, keep on holding, and you press an app, and you add what an app, you'd have to. Okay, so you just add an app and you close again. But in this launcher, you don't, you don't have to wait or and do all that stuff. So if you just add an app, you add it all over again, and okay, you add it, add it, and add it, and add it, and add it. I never have to uh, open this again to add an app. So if you're finished, you just press on this. And if you want to create a folder, it's very easy. Folder, blah, 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 done. And there you have it. So this was the Xperia, uh, this was a preview of the Xperia Z launcher on the Samsung Galaxy Tab 210.1, the P5 P5 100. Um, uh, if you want to download this launcher on your tablet or on your phone, you have to be rooted, uh, you have to have custom recovery, you don't have to be rooted, but you have to have custom recovery, and there are different sizes and uh, types of, uh, and the resolution, different sizes and resolutions in the link below. So, if you want to thank someone for this launcher, don't thank me. Thank the one who reported this, which I always forget the names of developers. But the thread, uh, or the link uh, of the uh, XD, for, uh, of the link in XDA will be in the description. Thank you for watching, and this was Raja Ibrahim Abulushi from the RCD.